let us go into hypothesis testing so we spoke about the new virus that broke out so this is a virus and we used to this virus example to really help us understand this hypothesis testing and we had two drugs that we could treat it so let us say that we gave this drug to three people drug a to three people after giving the drug we are actually observing the time to recover and measure how long it takes for each person to recover in the from the virus so we give this medicine to drug to person b we also give it to person c and you can notice the time that it takes for everyone to recover so what is the average time it takes so the first thing we notice is that not everyone recovered at the same time somewhere around 15 hours okay but the first thing we notice that not everyone recovered at the exactly at the same time so we found that the person one recovered the fastest and person two recovered the slowest so we also said the person one recovered faster because probably it is possible that he has healthy food exercises and already have a strong immune system that helped them recover quickly and then it is also possible that person two did not exercise as much or person two also has a stressful job or um, lives where there are a lot of pollutions and the environment is such okay so we see the time to recover now the point is that even though all three people had the same virus and took the same drug they did not recover in exactly the same amount of time and that might be due to a lot of random things that we discussed like exercise job stress that we have no con- much control on when we pick up the people for testing now let's give drug b to three different people that have virus and after giving to them this is the same time that we take to see how much time they take to recover and then again we see that even though the same drug b was given they actually re- recover in different times they did not recover in the same amount of time and also like we discussed before this can be due to random stuff that you cannot control like the exercise or probably the candy they eat and stuff like that so overall it looks like the person taking drug a took less time to recover than people taking drug b this is the background now we are going to get into hypothesis testing now we can calculate the average for drug a and we calculate the average for drug b and we see that the average is 15 hours difference between drug a and drug b 